My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with the Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days to Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 71 of the 120 Days to Jam Mathematics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, I am happy to announce to you that we shall be touching at least one question or our first question under coordinate geometry. Gone. At least we've touched one question under measuration. We've touched at least one question under Euclidean geometry. All these angles, polygons, triangles, quadrilaterals, they are under Euclidean geometry. Chord, sector, blah, 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 they are under measuration. Then we are talking at least our first question under coordinate geometry. Somehow we've touched trig ratio, we've touched bearing, we've touched sine and cosine rules, we've not touched angle of elevation, we've not touched low side. Now, the ones we've touched, it doesn't mean that it's all under them so far. We have more to do under those ones. The ones we've not touched, this doesn't mean it is the only question we will touch over them. Don't worry, we will answer a lot of questions. Play with a lot of questions until mama hops. And like I said, after all this, get the Flash Learner Jam app and play with other questions. There is no way we can solve all the questions Jam has ever said. But we solve the common ones, the major ones, then the repeated ones. If Jam ask a particular question, four different times, or they've asked a particular question 10 times, I will pick two of those questions and solve and explain in details. With that explanation, you open the app, you have the option to practice by topic. So you choose the topic you want to study, then you answer all those questions. With the ideas and the tool that I've solved, you'll be able to solve the similar 10 exactly. That is the whole idea of it. And if you are still scared of jam, it means you've not really prepared enough. The more questions you are able to solve correctly, the more the confidence you will have and the better you will feel you are ready. Look at this. It says, find the midpoint. Coordinate geometry is simply finding the position of or the distance of objects or of points using coordinates. In our coordinate geometry, we shall be making use of two dimensions, that is S and Y. In advanced level, you'll be solving problems under 3D, S, Y, and Z. S, Y, and the third one coming to you. If you watch a 3D movie, you will see that when they throw things, it will be as if it is coming to meet you. You get, you will shock. That's why you see all those people playing all these games. They get, oh, they are shouting. Because the third dimension is coming towards them. That is 3D in action. The third one is the Z axis. The reason why in mass, what you see most of the time is S and Y axis is that you are dealing with two dimensions. We are given the coordinates. S is minus 5 and 4. Then and T is minus 3 and minus 2. This is what we are given. Anytime you are given a coordinate like this, this is S. The first one is S, and the second number is Y, or the second value. If you are given something like this, the first one here is S, the second one is Y. But there is S here. Now there is another S. How do we distinguish the two S's? So, to know the two S's, we will simply call here S1 and we call here S2. Then we call here Y1 and we call here Y2. So we are able to know what we are talking about. We are asked for midpoint. Mid 
point. To find midpoints under coordinate geometry, it is always very easy. Yes, it is easy, simply easy. Midpoint is S1 plus S2 over 2, comma, Y1 plus Y2 over 2. Simple, right? That is it for midpoint. Now, this becomes, what is S1? S1 is minus 5, so minus 5 plus S2. What is S2? Minus 3 plus minus 3 over 2, comma. Y1 is 4, 4 plus Y2 is minus 2, so plus minus 2 over 2. And this is minus 5 plus minus 3, that is obviously minus 8, over 2, comma, 4 plus minus 2, that is 4 minus 2, that is obviously 2, so 2 over 2. This becomes minus 8 over 2 is minus 4, comma, 2 over 2 is 1. So the midpoint is minus 4, comma, 1, as seen in... Option C. That is it. You've answered this question. Ladies and gentlemen, we come to the end of this episode. I trust you found something interesting and I trust you found something helpful. See you in the next episode.